So, after we've understood how um, businesses are categorized into two groups, the service and the trading, um, we're now going to go back to the income and explain, understand more about incomes. As you can see, income is divided as the way we report income in the revenue in the income income statement is reported as two two types one is the reported as revenue and the other is reported as other income i'd like to go back to i'd like to go back to the sheet so income here will be reported in two groups. What are those groups? Revenue and other income. Under revenue, we are looking at the main source of income, which is the income that the business earns from its operations. So that's the main income. For example, if it's a courier business, then the main the revenue for the courier business would be the courier fees received. If the main operation is a landscaping fees, it's, it's, it's a, if it's a landscaping business, then the landscaping fees would be the main source of income. By the way, here we're talking about only service businesses. We will look into the trading businesses later. So for a service business, the income would be reported as revenue, which is the main source of income. And other income, now the businesses, the service businesses can also earn income from other sources. For example, they can sell stuff on someone's behalf for which they will receive the commission. They may have bought a, a business, sometimes if it, especially if it has any surplus cash, it buys shares into other businesses. So if it has done that, then obviously it would be receiving dividend, which would then be reported as other income because that's not the main income from the main operations. It's on the side income. They may have subletted a part of their shop a part of their office for which they receive rent. Again, it's it's an income which the business is earning, but however, it's not from the main operation, it's again from the side. So therefore, it is reported under other incomes. So that's the part on income. If you go back, so the income will be reported in two groups revenue and other income and then adding up both of them will give us the total income now let's have a look at the expenses expenses of a, of a service business can be or will be reported under three groups, under three categories. I'm going to start from here. The first category is called the finance costs. Now the finance costs, it only includes those expenses which are related to raising finance. And obviously when you raise finance, you take loans. One of the sources of raising finances a loan and when you take a loan you have to service the debt and that servicing of the debt is called paying interest so you got interest on loan you got interest on overdraft or you can have interest on mortgage so basically finance costs only includes interest now the interest could be on either loan overdraft or a mortgage so that's it's pretty simple it's pretty easy to you know, remember finance cost only includes only includes interest then comes the next category 
administration expenses. And as the very name suggests, these are the expenses which are connected directly to the administering of the business, which means you're looking at mainly office expenses or anything to do with administration. For example, the rent that the business pays for its office, the office wages that it pays to its office staff, the insurance that it has, the insurance premium that it pays on uh, on, on different risks uh, that have been covered. Uh, the rates, sometimes the business has to pay rates, so that's an administration expense. Telephone and power is another business uh, uh, administration expense. And there'll be more. There'll be more as you learn uh, and you gain confidence, you will learn more expenses will be coming under this category. Now, this is a very special group, as you can see. It's called Group 1. Now, Group 1 is only used for a service business. Why a service business? Because these are the expenses that are connected very specifically with the business, with the nature of the business. So, for instance, if we are reporting expenses of a courier business, then we are looking at expenses like the, the van repairs, the van expenses, um, anything to do with um, running the operations of the courier business. And bear in mind, they have to be expenses. So the expenses of a service business is reported in three categories. Group one, administration expense and finance costs. Now usually what happens is, as a matter of practice, Group 1 is reported first, and then administration expense and finance costs, but then there is no hard and fast rule as to the sequence of these three. You can put them in any order. Preferably, Group 1 should be number one. So, if you were to go back into our what we've done in the past, here it comes. So, income is reported into groups, revenue and other income. Expenses is reported in three categories. Group one, administration expenses and finance costs. Now, if you were to look into if you were to look into how to prepare, how to start making the income statement of a service business, few things to understand and keep in mind. The first thing, the heading. Now the heading has three elements. What are they? The first piece of information in the heading is the name of the business. The second piece of information in the heading is what is being prepared. And the third piece of information in the heading is for what period of time. So, the heading would, the format of an income statement would look like this. So the heading would look like this. The name, Jack Plummer's, what is being prepared, an income statement is being prepared. So that's an income statement. For what period of time? For the year ended, whatever it is. Or you could swap the word year with period for the period ended but then when you say year ended it means you're, you're referring to 12 months period could be six months three months two months this is the basic format so you have particulars one big column and you've got amount so i have put i have put this equation in a vertical form in a vertical form total income minus total expenses gives us profit if it's a loss then we put this figure in brackets so this is a very basic format and what we now need to do is we need to keep that format in mind which is total income 
minus total expenses equals profit or loss. Keep that format in our mind to prepare a more in-depth statement. Again, before we start, before we start making the income statement, again, some prior knowledge, what we should know before we're making income statement. Of course, we need to know the two categories of group of revenue and other income, and then three categories of expenses, group one, administration expenses, and finance costs. Once we've done that, and we have a format in mind, we now need to look at the trial balance because that's where all the information would be given to us if we want to prepare the income statement. So we will have the trial balance in front of us. Now, when we have the trial balance in front of us, we need certain skills. The first skill is that we should be able to look into the trial balance and be able to identify expenses from the trial balance. The trial balance will have lots of information. It will have all the assets, it will have all the expenses, and it will have the amount for drawings in the debit balances column. It will also have liabilities, all the incomes, and the equity as the credit balances in the trial balance. So from all those information, all the information available, we should be able to firstly identify expenses. And after we've identified expenses, we should then be able to group those expenses into those three, cate into those three categories. Group on expenses, administration expenses, and finance costs. I'd like to remind you here again, we are making an income statement for a service business, not a trading business. We will look into the trading businesses later. The second skill that you need to have is be able to identify the incomes in the trial balance. And obviously, these incomes would have a credit balance. So if you have a trial balance, which is in a T form, in a T form, the debit balances would be on this side and the credit balances would be on this side. One more time, the debit balances would be on this side of the trial balance. If it's a T, if it's a T trial balance, debit side balances would be on, the debit, on, on this side and the credit balances would be on the other side. So, Looking out on the other side of the trial balance, you, will, you should be able to pick up the incomes and then be able to classify them into these two groups, revenue and other incomes. Once in the trial balance you've been able to do these two skills, then you are ready to move ahead.